Hey, what's happening, everyone? Jenny Man here, and welcome back to my Championship Manager 0102 save with Manchester City. This is episode 12 of the first season. We have five games left to go in it. If we get a victory next time out, we guarantee promotion to the Premier League. Back to the promised land that is the Premier League. So, uh, going up first and foremost. Oh, there we go. Confirm. There it is. One promotion. We now have to play a game. We want promotion. So we're back in the Premier League next season, which is excellent. And so the only thing left to do now is wrap up the season as champions and maybe finish with a total of over 100 points. That'd be a nice little cherry on top of the proverbial cake. Um, all right, so Paul Ritchie has returned from uh, f uh, an injury. Sean White Phillips is also apparently improving as a footballer. A player definitely got to keep an eye on. Uh, maybe he can play a little bit more. And, oh, there you go. That's that's the moves we've been waiting for. Um, Torre is going to be sold finally to someone. Somebody wants him. He can definitely, definitely leave. He is utter. He's not garbage, but he's just not good enough. Um, Mark Kerr getting caught up. Paul Lott getting caught up. Draw from the reserve team. And Torre has agreed a deal. 1.4 million. So good. Extra extra coppers in the bank. Going to have to restructure shape some of the rotation players next season so I'm looking to move stuff around try and find some young talent um, alright so first and foremost we're against Rotherham now away from home obviously uh, Chodas is still suspended uh, last game before he returns from suspension uh, take a look at the condition any players struggling right now no not particularly uh, we should be able to bring Lee Chun Su back into the team for Karlstrom although Karlstrom has played really really well when given the opportunity so it makes it hard for me uh, to bring him in. Um, Richard Dunn is not fit. Not unusual there. Uh, Paul Ritchie is back, but Rasberg has been doing pretty solid work at centre half. So I'm tempted to keep him in now for the remainder of the year. Nah, let's bring Paul Ritchie back. He's been really good, so let's bring him back into the squad. All right, so up against Wolfram, here we go. Let's get a, let's get an early goal and let's uh, let's get a win today, shall we? Uh, they have Paul Warren. Pretty, pretty good player for championship manager. Looking for a Division 1 player. Like, being on the cheap, Paul Warren is that man. He can definitely get you lots of goals, but don't count him in the Premier League. He won't do very well for you. Um, other players in there, recommend? Not really. No one really excites me about Rotherham, to be honest with you. All right, so uh, 30 minutes on the clock. No goals yet to speak of. No real action to speak of either. Let's take a... Come on, boys. Get a goal before halftime. That'll set us up for the second half nicely. And again, my goal now is obviously to finish off as champions of Division 1 and try and get over 100 points. Um, so far, we're on target for both. We do have to win today, though. And honestly, we should be beating the likes of Wolverham anyway, to be honest with you. It'd be disappointing if we get, start to get complacent at the end of the season. I do believe form carries over to next year, so I want to avoid complacency. And obviously, a few really bad, cheap defeats would be bad for morale. And also, um, I don't know, it's bad for form as well. So I'll be on Karlstrom and Mild for Haaland and Ali Chunsu, respectively. All right, come on, boys. 75 minutes. We've got to get a goal here against Rotherham. There's a goal. Tomadira. You can always count on him to get a goal. Uh, 37 goals of the season. 31st in the league. Still behind Peter Crouch, believe it or not. Peter Crouch, of all people, he's behind them in the league, in the uh, goal-scoring charts. He's got 30. Oh, was it four goals now I think Peter Crouch there was a couple of goals behind him but we have finished the game um, obviously 1-0 winners today disappointing not to have scored a few more Steven Gerrard's going to be out five months for ankle ligament injury and Haaland's going to be out for a week as well alright um, oh here you go 2.6 million for Richard Dunn yes you can have him for 2.6 million absolutely Warsaw that's a lot of money for you um, alright yep you can definitely go for that. Richard Dunn, you're a decent centre-half, but not good. I think I can do better than you for 2.6 million. I can definitely turn that into a much, much better player. All right, let's bring on Mill. We're playing Norwich at home today. We've got a few players that are struggling through fitness levels, though. Let's bring in Rasberg for Richie. Uh, instead of London, let's play Charlie. Um, London can go on the bench, definitely. Important player for us. Uh, instead of victory, we're going to start Corneliuson. Left back. And who else can I put on the bench? Uh, let's put Johansson on the bench. Um, yeah, let's put Johansson. And instead of Tomadu, let's give him a break. Uh, even though he's going for the golden boot, let's play Karlstrom instead. He can always come on in case we need him. But we're against Norwich today at home as we continue our push to be crowned champions of Division 1. Uh, take a look at Roberts. Uh, oh, it's the Norwich team. Sorry, Owen Roberts. Uh, I think a Welsh striker, was he? Yeah, Welsh striker. Bit of a hard head. Uh, Darren Kenson used to play for Silenton for a little bit. 
Um, so we get an early goal here though, try and put into bed nice and early would be the ideal situation. Of course they score, as soon as I mentioned that. Mark Lieber getting a goal. 11 for the season for him. They've got one shot on target so far, and it's gone in. So good stuff all around. And there you go, Mark Kerr getting a goal. It's been a while since I'm on the score sheet, but that's his 12th goal of the season. And 17 assists. Oh, that's 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 pretty juicy. I love seeing that. Love seeing those double figure numbers on assists and goals. That's very, very good. Very, very good indeed. All right, what's going on now? 30 minutes on, we're starting to take over a bit more. They've only had two shots, so our 13, and Barsom gets a goal, 2-1. And before Goblin, Karlsson gets another one, 41st goal, 41st minute, eight, uh, 19th goal of the season for him. So he's close to that 20 minute mark, and that'd be a pretty, pretty good mark for him to reach. And uh, absolutely dominating things, excellent stuff. Uh, Lee Chun Su getting two assists as well, so he's pr pr proving that he can be creative as well as a goal scoring legend. All right, uh, three one going into second half, 60 minutes on the clock. Could probably make some changes, can afford to make some changes. I don't think we're gonna lose this one. Uh, conditioning, Freddie Wisp is struggling. Let's bring on Jamie Victory, he can straight at center half. Um, who else? Who else can we bring on? Johansson, he can definitely come on for someone. Mark Kerr. Uh, and let's bring on Tomadeo for Lee Chun Su. Why not make a hat trick of changes? Let's see if we can make it 4 1. And there it is, Johansson getting a goal. First goal of the season and first goal of the club for him. So 4 1 right now, which puts us nine points clear of West Brom in second place and three games left to go. So all you have to do is get one more point and we will be crowned champions of the first division. West Brom and Javan will be joining us in the Premier League. So uh, good to see them in the Premier League. Because they've been, a, they've been a worthy adversary this season. Uh, Peter Crouch has been heralded as an excellent prospect for the future. Gotta agree with that. I mean, the guy scores 35 goals in a season in any English league. He's gotta be seen as a decent prospect. Anyway, uh, Tom Madeira obviously been praised, build up the praise. Youngster Kerr, yep, definitely build his praise up. Everyone's happy. Everyone's happy. Happy Larry's all around. Even the reserves make an interesting 4-4. Four, four. Uh, Chris Kelling getting two goals. And Dow Dole Profit. Fuck his dull profit. Oh, never mind. Move on, he's not very good. He probably won't make a single appearance for me ever. All right, so playing against Gillenham, first versus bottom of the table. Um, this should be a win, but knowing my luck and championship manager, it will not be. All right, so um, let's go back to normal, shall we? Uh, everyone's fully fit, so. Uh, Chansu and then Madeira up top. Caution for the bench. London is going to come in for Charlie. Hacker Milled, Johansson. Haaland's still unfit. Short is back in the team. Carlo Nash will return to the bench. Um, Paul Ritchie will come in for Rasberg. Who actually had a really good game last time at 9 out of 10. All right. So, yep. yep. All right. So, we get a win today and then we can start playing some youngsters and start playing, a bit of, having a bit of fun. Try and play in some other younger talent. People like Farno Udo and get some action in before the end of the season. So he'll definitely get a look if we get promoted today. Sorry, promoted, win the league today. All right, so 10 minutes in. All right, come on, boys. There's Lee Chansu who gets in there. Sick goal of the season for Lee. He's got a 1 and 2 record, which is excellent, of course. And there's another goal for Lee Chansu. He's on his hat trick today. All right, 21 minutes in. I thought Lee Chun-Su was going to get his hat-trick there. So, absolutely dominating the game. And Michael Reddy getting a goal on loan from Sunderland. Who else would have Marlon King? Hacker Mill getting a goal for you want. Uh, Paul Shaw, recognize him. Who else would have Stuart Taylor? <laughs> Believe it or not, Stuart Taylor is still in the Premier League somehow. He's on loan from Arsenal uh, in this save. But he's in the, the Premier League with Southampton as a backup goalkeeper. I mean, I don't know how that guy keeps getting gigs. He's a permanent... I mean, he's got a great life. Don't get me wrong. He's basically paid to sit on the bench and train every day. Um, he's got a pretty good life. I'm very, very jealous of him, but um, I can't believe he's still around, to be honest with you. All right, so uh, 45 minutes halftime has whistle has blown. All right. 3-1 um, up. 3-1 up. How's everyone's condition? Everyone looking good? 
Everyone happy and healthy? Yeah, everyone's happy and healthy. Uh, three one up. This game is pretty much dead in the water though, as far as action goes. Uh, let's bring off Medeiros on yellow card. Let's bring on Karlstrom instead. Uh, let's also make a quick change in the back. Bring on Jamie Victory, Thor Corneliuson. All right, there you go. I'm just going to see it out now, unless we get any injuries. All right, so how things are looking right now? Yep. So this is going to wrap things up, and it's all over, and we have won the first division. So a uh, good way to get promoted, always by winning the league. Port Richie's got caught up by the Scotland squad. Let's take a look at these headlines real quick. Fans celebrate winning the first division. The Man City supporters sang FM Journeyman's name as the team clinched the first division title. A supporter spokesperson has stated that Journeyman is the best manager they have ever had. That's a bold statement. And obviously we have won the English first division championship. And that's confirmation right there at the league table. Also reached 101 points. So I've met both of my goals for this episode. And with that being said, we have two games left to go. Portsmouth and Warsaw. So what we'll do is we will play some young talent out there and see if anyone has anything to offer us the next season. We've got to get through the international break first and foremost, and then we'll be able to get on with action. There he is. We're up against Portsmouth now at home. So clear the squad. All right. Show us. We'll keep you in goal. Uh, right back. We're going to go with... Sorry, left back first. Let's do Jamie Victory. Uh, right back. Let's do Simon Colissimo. Uh, center half. Um, let's do... Anyone else? Do we have anyone, everyone, in the, anyone in the reserves? You can bring it to centre half. You can't write your shites. You're never going to play for me. Uh, centre half. We haven't got many options, have we? Let's play Rasberg and let's partner him next to. Let's do Freddie Risp. Let's do Risp. Why not? Uh, midfield. All right. Hold in midfield. All right. So we've got Jeff Whitley. He's going to he's going to get run out today. Um, Sebastian Janssen is obviously young as well. But what he's going to run, it hasn't had much this season. It hasn't actually made a start for us. He only played one game off the bench. Um, however, Janssen will be playing in the center of midfield. Uh, Farnerud will be one of the attacking midfielders. And then the other one will be... Who should I pick? Who should I pick next to him? Anyone in the reserves? Ben Wheeler? Nope. Uh, let's do Charlie. We'll do Charlie. And then we'll have Sean White Phillips up top. Yeah, Sean White Phillips, Super Sean White Phillips. And uh, let's do, has he fit? Yeah, 90%, that's fine. And then let's do him next to. Oh, no. Oh, uh, fuck it, Tom Madeira. Why not? Let's try and get in the golden boot. All right, so on the bench, Carlo Nash. Uh, we'll do Mike Duff, uh, Mark uh, Kim Karlstrom, and Barsom. They'll do. Again, doesn't really matter now. We are promoted. We are champions. We got 101 points. That is all I wanted from this season. So let's see if some of our younger players can come out and make a difference today. Not too many of them, honestly. I thought I had more available to me than I did. But let's see what Sean White Phillips can offer us, shall we? I'm not going to play Richard Dunn, obviously, uh, because he's you know he's, he's going. Anyone that's going, I'm not going to play because it's pointless. And here's Johansson getting a goal, second goal of the season for him, Sebastian Johansson. Um. All right, Peter Crouch is playing today. Let's see if we can stop him from scoring. That would be another little side quest I'd like to complete. That's Tom Madeira getting a goal. That's his 32nd goal of the season. I still think he's behind Crouch, though. Two goals behind Crouch, in fact. All right. So he has a chance to catch him up. If we keep a clean sheet today and avoid Peter Crouch from scoring, we do have a chance. Sean White Phillips getting a goal on his debut. Super Sean White Phillips. That's a positive sign indeed. As Jeff Whitley getting a goal, that's another positive sign. So some of the players are born. All the players are born apart from Tom Madeira, who's a regular, has done well for us and has got a goal today. So that's very pleasing stuff. Good to see we have depth. Um, Finally, we'd struggle them. Uh, let's leave everyone. Fuck it. How's Kalisimo doing? He's got 7 out of 10 so far. Right, right back really isn't his natural position. I like to have him as a backup right back because he is a very solid player. But it's not really his primary role. All right. So 10 minutes left to go in this game. Soon as Tomida gets another goal. I'll make the last week interesting for that Golden Boot Award. All right. So, yep. Finished 4-0. Uh, very pleasing stuff. Scoreline was way more comfortable than the actual game it was. Pretty even. Uh, but, yep. Good results. Portsmouth actually reached the playoffs despite that humiliating defeat by me. All right. So we have one more game left to play in this episode and the season. Let's go ahead and skip to that. All right, so here we go up against, who are we up against? Walsall, Walsall away from home. Richard Dunn's new team. 
All right. Um, any changes? Any last time players in there? Nope. Um, I think I'll leave things as are. Actually, I'm going to play Cornelius and again a victory. That'll do. All right. Jeff Whitley's going to be captain today. And let's get, uh, let's get to Madeira that record, shall we? All right. Early goal here for uh, Haravelto, Brazilian player. Tomadira getting a goal. All right. So this makes things interesting. Actually, let's go take a look at the goal scoring charts. All right. Goals. All right. So right now, he's two goals behind Peter Crouch. So we have to keep an eye on the Portsmouth game as well. Right now, he's uh, only one goal because he got the opening goal off for us today. He gets another goal, then it makes things very, very interesting. And Rasberg gets a goal. First ever goal of the season. First ever goal for us and first goal of the season. That's what I was trying to say. Take a look at later scores. Find the Portsmouth game, shall we? All right, so Portsmouth are actually losing to Wolves, so they haven't scored yet. Which means if Tomino gets another goal, he's equal then on goals to uh, to Peter Crouch. Farnham getting a goal as well. It's pleasing to see. Second of the season for the young 18-year-old superstar prospect. I forgot how old he was for a second. Sure All right, let's let's make a change. Let's bring on someone a bit more creative next to Tomadira. Let's bring on Barson. Yeah, let's bring on Barson. He's a very, very creative player. All right, Tomadira. You see one goal, Madeira. One goal. Take a look at the Portsmouth game. And Curtis scored for them, not Crouch. As Rasberg getting his second goal of the game. <laughs> Come on, get the ball to Madeira. Come on, get the ball to Toe. Get the ball to Toe. Come on. Saw his name pop up a couple times. Oh, he hit it. I was and there it is, Tomadir. Okay, so he's equal now. Equal. That's his 40th goal of the season. He's equal with Peter Crouch. Take a look at those other games, shall we? Peter Crouch. Where is it? Portsmouth, Portsmouth, Portsmouth. Okay, so Crouch didn't score today. And Madeira got two. So I think he finished equal. I think he finished equal with Crouch. He did. He finished equal with Crouch, but for some reason he goes above him in the uh, the standings. So he gets. It looks like he won. Oh, he shared the shared the golden boot. So that's a bit of fun on the side. Um, but anyway, we uh, got awarded 1.7 million. Finished first in the table. Very pleasing stuff indeed. So what we we'll do now is we'll just get through. We'll get through a little bit of preseason. Finish off. Let's see who got promoted. Let's wrap up the season. Do a little season recap, as it were. Barsom has been amazing. He's been absolutely immense. £120,000 and the guy got 20 assists. Absolutely wonderful performance in him this season. All right, so here we go. Mild is out for a week. Oh, yeah. oh dear. And uh, Man United have been crowned as the uh, champions of Europe. They beat Roma in extra time. Uh, goal from David Beckham. And a late goal from Paul a late penalty by David Beckham, and a goal from Paul Scholes after Totti and Pelo, uh, Pelo, Pelosio, goalkeeper, got sent off. Unbelievable stuff here. Did they have a backup goalkeeper? They looks like they did. Question mark. Oh, the goalkeeper got sent off, and they didn't have anyone to come in. They did, but they used all the substitutes. So they're basically they're playing extra time without a goalkeeper. And Man United dramatically win the Champions League at Hampton Park. Take a look at that. And Arsenal have won the Premier League, so I don't feel too bad about losing them in the um, League Cup. So Arsenal have won the league of uh, 82 points, one point ahead of Manchester United. Leeds finish from third, Chelsea fourth, Liverpool fifth, Newcastle sixth, Blackburn seventh, Fulham eighth, Middlesbrough ninth. Uh, Tottenham finish all the way down in tenth, Ipswich eleventh, that's a bit of a surprise, Charlton twelfth, Sunderland thirteenth, Southampton in fourteenth, get in there Saints, uh, West Ham fifteenth, Everton sixteenth, and relegated were Derby, Bolton, and then Villa with only seven wins this season. I need to see if I can raid Villa for anyone good. Maybe Bosco Balaban. Maybe Juan Pablo Angel. Got some decent players in the team. Oh, David Ginola. 35-year-old French legend now. David Ginola. Uh, all right, let's take a look around as well at some of the other competitions, shall we? All right, so where is it? FA Cup, FA Cup. Uh, let's go to the final real quick. And May United won the FA Cup as well. They beat Leeds 4-0 very comfortably. Two goals from Dwight York, one from Wayne Giggs, one from David Beckham. And after Kelly got Gary Kelly got sent off in the first half. Let's take a look at the League Cup. 
League Cup stuff. Final eight. So Man United won the League Cup as well. So uh, Man United have actually won the treble. Kind of an unorthodox treble, but a treble nevertheless. They beat Arsenal 1-0. Um, Arsenal actually looks like they play the reserve team. Richard Wright is no Richard Wright is the number one goalkeeper. He yeah, played ahead of David Seaman this year. Okay, interesting stuff. Um, but they beat um, Arsenal uh, one in like the Millennium Stadium because I forgot the Wembley was under construction at this time period. They moved there temporarily, and the goal from Andy Cole uh, giving them the victory in the 78th minute. All right. Um, so yeah, very very pleasing stuff. Excellent. Excellent stuff. Let's take a look at some of the end of season stats. Um, who played the most games? Tomido played the most games, so 53 overall. Uh, followed by Victory, 51. Mark Kerr, 52 starts. Barsom, 47. Mike Duff, 48. London, 43. So some really good uh, key performances and consistency in the uh, goals. Of course, Tomodira finishing top by 40. Uh, and then Kim Kolstrom came next with 20 goals behind him, 21 to be precise, with 19 goals. London chipping in nicely with 18 goals, Barsom 13, Mark Coe with 12, Harlan got 8 goals which is a little bit surprising, didn't see that one coming, Lee Chansu got 7 in only 14 appearances, so 1-2 and two record for him Hacken Milled from the Holden midfield well got 7 and after that, bit of a drop off Expect a little bit better from the likes of Charlie Ajo. Home he got 22 appearances underneath his belt, but only got uh, a couple of goals. Uh, take a look at assists. Um, Barson with 20 assists. Jamie Victory, 20 assists. That's exactly what I expected when I brought him in for a measly fee of £65,000. That is an absolute steal. Highly recommend him if you play Championship Manager. Mark Kerr had a wonderful season as well of 19 assists to go over his 12 goals. Jonas London, 13 assists. Then Karlstrom, 8 assists. I expect him to do better than that. Tom Madeira got 8 assists as well. Uh, Alfinger Harland, seven. Another good uh, attribute stat for him. Uh, Mike Duff only got four. That's concerning because Mike Duff is usually much, much better than that. And I did pay four and twenty-five thousand pounds, so it's still a very good signing for us. But he usually gets a lot more than four assists, so that's a little bit concerning. Uh, Man of the match awards, of course, Barsom actually got ten Man of the match awards, followed by Madeira at nine. Take a look at the average ratings. Madeira, of course, with the highest average rating, most likely to be Player of the Year, with an average rating of eight point eleven. Barsom then got seven point eight four. Uh, let's do sort by value, shall we? The most valuable player in the squad right now apparently is Alf Inga Haaland at uh, 5.25 million, followed by Richie at 3.6, Eunice London at 3.5, Tom Madeira then chips in at 3.3, Karlstrom at 3.1, and then steadily declines from there onwards. But generally speaking, it's been a really, really, really successful season. Very happy with all the business. Spent 6 million, sold. 14 million worth of plant so there you go we bought in a lot of quality players better players and then sold a load on for much much higher prices and obviously i'm very excited for the pre-season um we have two players coming in guaranteed already eric bjornstad hagen who will partner freddie risp at the heart of defense and then uh toton zula makoko will come in as well and he'll be a squad rotation player we'll have to see how we're developing if i go tell our development as a midfielder or maybe as a striker haven't quite decided yet but whatever the case he will definitely be part of my first team plans next year uh so that's going to wrap up the video uh thank you guys so much for watching the first season of my championship manager 0102 series with manchester city super successful super fun had a lot of uh, fun uh please let me know in the comments below if you think i should sign any players in the summer uh, who should I look at? Um, obviously, Cherno Samba is a player I want to bring in, but I think he agreed to deal to Roma, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I looked at him. Cherno Samba. Um, he's joining Inter Milan. That's it. Inter Milan. Yep, he's going into Milan. So it looks like I've missed the boat on that one, but maybe in the line I can sign him down the line if we get a lot of money. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on his progression. Um, Actually, you know what? Let's just finish off this real quick. Quit the playoff final and Wolves get promoted. And they beat Coventry, rivals Coventry 2-1. So they join us in the Premier League. All right. And also, we won uh, We won, broke a record. Seven titles is a new record for the uh, first division. So all around, very, very good stuff. Very happy how the season has gone, as you would imagine. Super fun. Hope, hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, remember to hit like on the uh, video itself. And uh, if you want to see more videos by me, please hit subscribe and turn those notifications on. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. And uh, next time you'll join me will be the start of the Premier League season, the second season in charge of Man City. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.